Yeah. Please fill me with the Ruach HaKodesh, that it may speak your written words with boldness to those who listen. I ask all these things in Yeshua HaMashiach's name. Amen. We'll start with the Shema. Listen and obey. Children of Yah, pay careful attention and respond. Yahava is our power and authority. yod heh vav -Hey works in unity with himself. And you shall act upon your love. The Yehovah, your power and authority with your thoughts and mind, with your entire body, and with all the muchness that you have. The first letter from Yeshua's emissary, Sha'ul, Paul, to Timothy. 1 Timothy, chapter 1. From Shaul, an emissary of Messiah Yeshua, by command of God, our deliverer, and the Messiah Yeshua, our hope, to Timothy, a true son because of your trust. Grace, mercy, and shalom from God the Father and the Messiah Yeshua, our Lord. As I counseled you when I was leaving for Macedonia, stay on an Ephesus, so that you may order certain people who are teaching a different doctrine to stop. Have them stop devoting their attention to myths, never-ending genealogies. These divert people to speculating instead of doing God's work, which requires trust. The purpose of this order is to promote love from a clean heart, from a good conscience, and from sincere trust. Some, by aiming amiss, have wandered off into fruitless discussion. They want to be teachers of Torah, but they understand neither their own words nor the matters about which they make such emphatic pronunciations or pronouncements. <laughs> we know that the Torah is good provided one uses it in the way the Torah itself intends. We are aware that Torah is not for a person who is righteous. But for those who are heedless of Torah and rebellious, ungodly, and sinful, wicked, and worldly, for people who, for people who kill their fathers and mothers for murders, the sexually immoral, both heterosexual and homosexual, slave dealers, liars, perjurers, and anyone who acts contrary to the sound teachings that accord with the good news of the glorious and blessed God. This good news that this good news was entrusted to me. And I thank the one who has given me strength, the Messiah Yeshua our Lord, that he considered me trustworthy enough to put me in his service, even though I used to be a man who blasphemed and persecuted and was arrogant. But I received mercy because I had acted in unbelief not understanding what I was doing. Our Lord's grace overflowed to me with trust and love that came through the Messiah Yeshua. So here is a statement you can trust, one that fully deserves to be accepted. The Messiah came into the world to save sinners. I am the number one sinner, but this is precisely why I received mercy, so that in me, as the number one sinner, Yeshua the Messiah might demonstrate how very patient he is, as an example to those who would later come to trust in him and thereby have eternal life. So to the King, eternal, imperishable, and invisible, the only God there is, let there be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. This charge, son, Timothy, I put to you in keeping with the prophecies already made about you so that by these prophecies you may fight the good fight, armed with trust and a good conscience. By rejecting conscience, some have made shipwreck of their trust. Among them are Harmonius and Alexander. I have turned them over to the adversary so that they will learn not to insult God. How can we learn to love our Creator after reading 1 Timothy chapter 1? We can learn a lot. <laughs> we can trust that Yah is our deliverer and that Messiah Yeshua is our hope. Know that you are a son or daughter of Yah by your trust. Know that from Yah, the Father, and Messiah Yeshua, our Lord, comes grace, mercy, and shalom. 
aim to teach others to do Yah's work, which requires trust. Aim to promote love from a clean heart, from a good conscience, and from sincere trust. Aim to have fruitful discussions. Know that Torah is good. And who is it for? And what purpose it is used for? Aim to act in line with the sound teaching that accords with the good news of the glorious and blessed God. Aim to be entrusted with the good news, knowing that Yeshua strengthens you. Aim to be trustworthy enough to be put in His service, no matter what your past is. Ask for mercy from Yah. Trust that the Lord's grace overflows with trust and love. Through Messiah Yeshua, Shaul shares a statement we can trust. Messiah came into this world to save sinners, which Shaul says he is the number one sinner. This is why Shaul says he received mercy. So that a Shaul, in Shaul's example, it is shown how patient Yeshua the Messiah is, so that others will come to trust and have eternal life. To the King eternal, imperishable, and invisible, the only God there is, let there be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. Aim to fight the good fight, armed with trust and a good conscience. Aim not to insult God. How can we love others as Yeshua loves us? We can counsel others in doing God's work, which requires trust. Produce spiritual fruit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, humility, and self-control. And how can we bear one another's burdens? We can aim to aim, we can aim to have fruitful discussions about the sharing of the good news. And tonight with the Arianic blessing, Yud Hey Vav Hey will kneel before you presenting gifts, and he will guard you with a hedge of protection. Yahweh will illuminate the wholeness of his being towards you, bringing order, and he will provide you with love, sustenance, and friendship. Yahweh will lift up the wholeness of his being and look upon you and will set in place all you need to be whole and complete. Amen. <laughs>